Good afternoon, folks. Good evening, family. It's 6.27 p.m. on January 17th, Thursday evening, and this modem I have, I just bought this uh, this afternoon, and the previous modem I had, the Cisco modem, recently died with IRP on me and quit working. I think what had happened to the previous uh, cable modem is, I think it got hot down there underneath that desk, and I must have laid that cable modem up against the, the wall there of the underneath the desk. So I got a little box there. I folded up and I used a box on the side. I put the box on the side. I took this box and folded the box up and closed it up and then set it on the side and propped it underneath the desk for as a way to, to hold the cable modem and the router. So this is the Motorola uh, cable modem. It's a DOX 3.1 cable modem. And it's got up to 6,000 megabits per second. That's the maximum cable, you know, cable modem speed. So it has DOX 3.1 plus 32 by 8 DOX 3.0. It's got a two year warranty on it. And it's been certified to be used by these service providers, Xfinity and Cox. So here's the picture of the, of the modem itself. I'm going to do an unboxing video here and show you what it looks like. So this is model number MB8600, model number, <coughs> excuse me, model number MB8660. So I went to Best Buy, right here, Best Buy uh, here in town on Southwest 27th Avenue, Cal, Florida. And the retail price of this modem I bought was a was one hundred fifty nine dollars and ninety nine cents, and the sales tax on that was eleven dollars and twenty cents. So never mind so much about the Minute Maid Pink Lemonade. So for one hundred sixty bucks, I got a pretty good modem. Now I went to Cox uh, this afternoon. They wanted a cable modem. Uh, it was called an Aris A R R I S, and they wanted one hundred eighty dollars for it. I'm like, well, why even go out and buy something like that for one hundred eighty bucks? I can go right across the street to Best Buy. I pick up a cable modem for 160 bucks and save twenty dollars. They said, "Well, alternatively, I could go out there and also do a uh, ten dollar rental fee. Just get the, just buy this. Do, do, instead of buying it, I could rent it for ten dollars a month. And if something happens to it, then they come out there and fix it." I said, "No." I said, "You figure ten months, or actually eighteen months uh, service, a year and a half, at one hundred eighty dollars for what they want. You know, it's uh, eighteen months times ten dollars. That's one hundred eighty bucks." And why rent, if I rent something for 10 months, or even a year, you figure $200 to rent a modem for one year, I can buy a modem for a lot less and pocket the difference. So I pocket $20. So why go spend 180 bucks on uh, on that when I can go and buy this modem for $160? And it's got a two-year warranty on it, too. So if the modem, we'll say the modem, the modem lasts five years. Okay, that's $120. You know, a year saved times five years, that's $600 in rental fees. So why should I even rent a modem for five years at $600 when I can just get one modem, and the modem, we'll say the modem lasts five years. That's 160 bucks over a five-year period. Okay, so you're looking at less than $40 a year just, just, just for that. So there's a big savings on it. Okay, so we'll go ahead and open the box, open up the modem here in just a minute. I just want to show you the receipt. Uh, where I bought this at. Don't worry about the pink, the Minute Maid Pink Lemonade. That's something for two dollars, overpriced for a twenty ounce bottle. So you figure all that comes up together with tax. It's one hundred seventy three dollars and thirty two cents with the lemonade. So I gave them a cash of one hundred sixty one dollars, and uh, I had to pay a twelve dollar balance on that modem. So you figure about eleven dollar, about uh, ten dollar difference there. So you figure one hundred sixty one dollars uh, is what I gave her. And that's, that's what the, I gave her two dollars over what the modem was, but I still had to pay eleven dollars and twenty cents sales tax. So you figure, well, that's what I had to pay for it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and go into the unboxing here in just one second. Okay, so this is what we got here. This is the cable modem itself, and let me trying to tilt it up here so you can see it better. Up in the light. So this is the cable modem I just bought, along with the indicator lights, and right there. So that's the cable modem and then here on the back flip it around here around the back back of the moon the real the world the business end of it you got the reset button right here and then below that you got the ethan that cable plugs into it and then for the coax for the cable to plug into you got the on off switch and then, then you got the power where the adapter plugs in so there's a reset button at the top and then the, the ethernet cable you need and then the coaxial cable for the cable motor for the cable company on off switch and then the power button. I mean power the uh, power for the adapter. Okay, so we got the length of of uh, Ethernet cable. I think this is category six. 
the Category 5E. So this is a Category 5E cable. And then here we got the little Velcro strap for the, for the cable tie. And you got a little wrench here for the coax. So when you turn this around, you can tighten up the coaxial right up here. This part right here when you go to put it in there and tighten it up. Okay, we've got the little adapter that comes in there with that, along with the plug right here, the little adapter on the end. Okay, so this is what should come with the modem. It's these items I described, the power cable, and then the, I mean, the power cube, the coax wrench, either the cable and the Velcro cable tie. Okay, as I described before, this is the Ethernet the LAN. The reset button at the very top where I described it, and then the Ethernet LAN. That's where you connect the, uh, where your computer and then the coax. This is where the, the wrench, I mean, wrench comes to play for the coaxial where you tighten it up. This is this little part right here, the coaxial cable. And this is the Ethernet cable that plugs right in over here. And then the coaxial cable, which plugs right here, there's a little nut on the inside there that you tighten up. You tighten it up to the right. And then you got the little power adapter pin that plugs in the area right here. My finger is. That's the on off button. Okay, so that's pretty much uh, what you have to do there. Now, I had to go down to Cox after I bought bought the cable mode at Best Buy. I went ahead and, and had to have it activated. So they scan the box and type in all the information you need to know about the MAC address and they also any barcodes or anything like that. So let's see if there's any more here we got to look at. Okay, folks, so here's the indicator lights on the front of the modem and corresponding ones. I'm going to go ahead and go re briefly over the lights. You can barely see them right there. So there's the that that's actually the power indicator, downstream, upstream, and I think that's where the internet is, and then whether the the coaxes, I mean whether the uh, the land the land is that are plugged in or not. So let's take a look at the, each one of these symbols. Okay, so I guess I'm right about that. So this this little indicator here that's the power indicator, that turns it green, and then the downstream, which is either green or blue. Okay, so it tells you right here what these are for. You know, on means cable boom on, and then cable boom power off for green. And then green blinking, the green part, the downstream, that tells you if it's green blinking, it's scanning for the downstream channel, connected on, and then the green, if it's on, it's one downstream channel. Then blue means it's negotiating, and then blinking means it's a bonded channel. If it shows up blue on, it's bonded with two or more channels. And you got the upstream arrow, which is green or blue. Green blinking means it's ranging in progress. And green on uh, means connected to connected one channel. If it shows up blue, then it's negotiating bonding, uh, and then the blinking, blue blinking, that's channel, negotiating bonded channels. Then blue on is bonded with two or more channels, and then off means upstream not connected. And then the online part for the internet, where I was showing you before, that's green or blue. If it's blinking, it's trying to go online. If it shows up green, that world, that world icon right there, that means it's can now align with DOCSIS 3.0. If it's blue, that's online with DOCSIS 3.1. And if it's off, it means it's offline. And you got the bottom part where the land is, I showed you. That's green or blue. That's blinking. It means Ethernet data is flowing. If it's green, it means Ethernet ports are linked but not bonded. And if it shows that blue, then the Ethernet ports are linked and bonded. And then finally, you got the rear panel Ethernet LAN port. That can either be green or amber. And this is it's this little thing right here. I'll show you. I can show it to you. Right where my thumb is, if you see where my thumb is, that little light right there. If it shows up green on the top, if it's blinking, that means Ethernet data is flowing. It connects at 1 gigabits per second. The yellow one is on, the amber, it means it's connected at 10 or 100 megabits per second. And if it's off, either one of these are off, it means there's no connection at all. So that's the Ethernet port right there. Green means the Ethernet data is flowing. Amber means it's connected at 10 or 100. So if it shows up green, that's 1 gigabit. If it's amber, it's connected to 10 or 100 megabit. Okay, so I guess that's it for now for this cable modem. I just want to show you to you uh, this video. So there's actually not a whole lot there. You just it, you have to make sure it's automatically uh, act. You have to act get the, the modem activated at Cox, and then you're good to go from there. Okay, folks. So that's the Motorola Doxa 3.1 cable modem quick start guide and the modem itself. I want to do the unboxing video. This is model number MB8600. So you can pick it up at Best Buy for 160 bucks. This is my second unboxing video. The other one I did was about some shoes or something I picked up about a couple of years ago. So this is my second unboxing video. So I do these like once in a great while. Okay folks, everyone have a great day. Take care of yourselves. 
God bless you in everything you do. Stay safe out there. Remember, Jesus is coming soon, very soon, and so is the judgment. Judgment is also coming. So 150 bucks, you can get you a nice one. You can get modem that's compatible with Cox. And once again, like I said, there's the indicators for the modem itself. Okay, God bless you in everything you do. God loves you, and so do I. Remember, Jesus is coming soon. Get ready for his return. I love you all very much. And you want to get a chance, I'll see you on the next video upload. Bye-bye for now. I love you. Take care.